What's going on guys, I'm Bill and welcome to Bill's How To. Today I'm gonna to be showing you guys how to remove a fly screen. Now a lot of people have asked me in the past, how do you remove fly screens? It's pretty straightforward and simple. There's just a little trick that I'm about to show you guys. Let's get straight into it. Let's do this. All right guys, so with the fly screens, you can either remove them from the outside or from the inside of the property, depending on the style of fly screen and also the window. The most common ones I find you can probably always remove them from the inside of the house. Um, but the first thing we need to do is remove the actual window itself, which is also pretty easy. So if we slide the window across, we're gonna grab hold of it and just lift it up into the top of the channel here. Once we lift it up high enough, we'll have enough clearance on the bottom to be able to just swing that window out. So if we lift it up, swing out the bottom, and then just wiggle it out of the way. We'll leave this one here on the side. So once again, depending on the style of fly screen, this can either be held from the bottom and up from the top here, from the channels, um, or it can be held also from the sides. Now this particular one here is only held from the top and the bottom. The way they're designed is when, when these are measured up to install for this size of the window, there's always a little bit of clearance. So what that clearance is for is it allows you to slide it in the top of the channel all the way up, you swing the bottom side in, and then you just drop it down in that bottom channel. So the bottom channel will be hard up against the uh, bottom of the frame, which means the whole fly screen frame will sit all the way down in that bottom channel. The top side is about halfway um, into that channel and that allows you to have a little bit of play in order to move it. So you'll notice here, this one here has a tab on there to make it a bit easier. If you don't have a tab, if you get a flathead screwdriver and just simply put it in down the bottom where the spline is, um, being careful not to poke into the fly screen, otherwise you're gonna have to replace that. Um, but more than likely, that's why you're pulling out the fly screen in the first place. So. What we do is we lift up on the tab and you can see there we've now got some clearance down the bottom. So if we pull this one here right out, wiggle it down a little bit and now we've got the top side out as well. So this fly screen is now completely removed, nice and easy. This is probably one of the simpler ways, um, ways to remove it. There's a few other styles um, that also require you to kind of bring it out on a little bit of an angle. I'll quickly go and check and see if there's one in this house. If not, I'll show you guys how to do it in another house. But for now, let's put this one here back. So once again, line it up with the top channel. So once we've got that top one lined up, we push it all the way in. Push in the bottom side, drop it in the track. And now that's all nice and secure. So once again, we can put our window frame or the window panel back in. So just do everything in reverse. Slide the top side in first. Push it all the way up. Drop your window in. And there we have it, guys. Um, so I'll quickly go and see if I can find one of those other ones. If not, I'll show you guys from another property, one of the other most common types of fly screens. All right, so this one here is another style of fly screen, very common, especially on older houses. If we have a look at this one here, you can remove it from both the inside and the outside of the window. The outside is a lot easier. Um, so what we're gonna do with these ones here, you always need to start by lifting the fly screen up first. And why that is, if you have a look down here, there's a little channel. The fly screen sits into the channel, probably about down to the tip of that screwdriver there. And then on top, it's got just a little bit into that channel. So what I like to do is put the screwdriver up on top. And the reason why I'm using a screwdriver is as you can tell, it's pretty dirty. It probably hasn't been taken out of um, this window frame probably about 10 years or so. All the dust, debris, everything basically seals this fly screen in. So what I do is I get the screwdriver and I just put it up against the frame like that. And what I do is I lift up. So you can see there, that side went up. Make sure this side is also up. And then we come back down to the bottom and now we can lift this one here up a little bit more so you can see there's a gap down there now and the reason why i always carry the screwdriver is we're going to use it to pry this fly screen out so now we've got the gap just simply pull back and that corner is now out these ones here they have to go in on a little bit of an angle so now that we've got this side here out we'll pull this side here out as well wiggle it and that'll all slide down now the tricky part is for most people putting this back in and i see so many of these damaged over the time um, if we have a look here there's a little u-channel on this side here 
um, usually you'll find there's a channel on both sides so if we have a look there's a channel on this side this side doesn't actually have one so most of the time there'll be another channel on here all you need to look at is make sure that you're putting it into the deeper channel first if there is a channel if there's no channel then you simply go over this side here um, but if there is two channels on both sides one will always be deeper and in this case here this side here is the deeper side so that's where we start from we're going to take the top corner of the fly screen point it straight up there and then we're going to swing that little bottom left side in after so i'll try to do this with one hand the easiest way is to start probably about midway so just put that corner into the track or into the channel and then start sliding it up now i'm going to struggle a little bit because i'm doing it with one hand i'll use my knee as well so we've got that top side into there push it all the way up until we get this corner in as well so you can see now that corner's in push that one there in the fly screen is now all in except for this bottom side here so push that bottom side in and then right at the end we're going to take the screwdriver and push that down into position so this is what ends up locking everything in place and that's all now locked in so these ones here have a little clip just push that one there back in but like i said the most of them out there that are old style like this one here you'll find there's a channel on both sides so there you have it guys there's two different ways to remove and reinstall your fly screens these are the most common ones um, or here in australia anyway let me know if you're overseas what style fly screens do you guys have hopefully you guys have enjoyed the video as always like comment and subscribe until next time i'm bill thanks for watching bills out too